Hey tech enthusiasts! Are you struggling to install IP cameras in hard-to-reach remote locations? Running long cables is a nightmare, but we've got the perfect solution. A wireless bridge setup that's designed to make it seamless. So in today's video, I'll show you how to set up a remote IP camera using wireless bridges to deliver high-speed, long-distance connectivity. Perfect for farms, remote buildings, or outdoor surveillance. And let's dive into why wireless bridges are the ultimate solution for remote surveillance and how you can install them step by step. So what exactly is a wireless bridge? A wireless bridge allows two separate networks to connect wirelessly over long distances and replacing the need for cables. And for remote surveillance, this is a game changer. You can monitor areas miles away without laying extensive cable runs. And whether you're setting up cameras on farms, monitoring a remote building, or securing a large outdoor area, wireless bridges eliminate the hassle and cost of wire connection over long distances. And now let's take a look at our 5 km outdoor wireless bridge kit. Now it includes two wireless bridges, mounting accessories, cables, and power supply. This kit is designed to transmit data wirelessly over distances up to 5 km. Operating on the 5.8 GHz frequency band, these bridges avoid interference from crowded 2.4 GHz devices and giving you a more stable connection. And with gigabit data transfer speed, you'll get smooth and long distance and high definition video stream or fast data transfer. And before installing, it is crucial to plan. First, conduct a site survey. Identify the best part for both the camera and the wireless bridges. And the key is to ensure there's a clear line of sights between the two wireless bridges. No trees, buildings, or other obstructions. Height is also important. Mount your bridges at a sufficient height to maximize the signal. And proper alignment is essential for optimal transmission. And you can use a signal strength indicator during the setup to ensure a strong connection. So now let's move on to installation. First, mount the wireless bridge on a pole using the provided zip tie, and then make sure they're securely attached. Next, connect the power supply. So as you can see, it is connected to a DC 12 volt power adapter. And then we can connect the ethernet cable from our camera to our wireless bridge. And you can configure the wireless bridge to communicate with each other using this user-friendly single pairing button. By pressing this button, you can pair it with the other wireless network bridge. And then use the signal strength indicator to align them perfectly. This can ensure the best possible connection for long distance data transmission, which is up to 5 kilometers. So coming over here, we are going to connect our IP camera to the wireless network bridge using this Ethernet cable. Now you are able to use power over Ethernet as well to reduce the number of cables and keep the setup clean and easy. And there are different types of cameras you can use. You can use bullet camera, drone camera, and for our case, we're using this PDZ camera. And position the camera at the ideal angle for the area that you want to monitor. Then you can connect it to our wireless bridge. And it is already powered up and connected to a power adapter. And let's move on to the other side. As you can see, our wireless bridge over this side is already connected. The power supply, the ethernet cable, and also to an internet. So looking at our big screen monitor, we can see a live video feed instantly displaying on the monitor. 
And not only you can view your camera feed on a big screen monitor, you can also able to do it on your mobile device to ensure everything is working smoothly. Just go to our Green Backyard application. It is already connected. And now you can view your camera feed no matter where you are. And if you want to adjust the camera setting, like focus, zoom, and resolution to get the clearest view possible, here's how you can do it. So you need to connect a mouse to your NVR, then you can navigate the menu by right-click it. This is the IPC. In here, you can set the image setting, light setting, and also other advanced setting. And for a PDZ camera, you can even move it around. Just go to PDZ control. You can move left and right, up and down. And also zoom it in and out. And also, you can record your video feed and some advanced features like vehicle detection and intelligent alert. And one of the great things about this setup is how easily it can be expanded. If you need more coverage, you can add additional cameras with a PoE switch or even configure more wireless network breaches for a point-to-multi-point -point setup and extending your surveillance range. So that's it! With a wireless bridge setup, you can achieve long distance stable and secure connectivity for your remote IP cameras and whether it's for a farm, outdoor sites or any remote areas this is the perfect solution for your surveillance needs and if you want to learn more about powering remote cameras or integrating even more advanced wireless solution you can check out our other videos and please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling, and I'll see you in our next video.